Hello everyone, this is Sean with theparacordstore.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fishtail paracord bracelet. And in this particular bracelet we're going to use two colors, uh, the orange and olive drab. And we're going to be using a half inch side release buckle. And so our first step, uh, since we're using two colors, is to join the two colors together. And if you aren't sure how to do that, uh, we do have a video on that. So you can uh, jump over to our project page on the website or go to our YouTube channel page and search for the video on how to join two pieces of paracord. And as far as how much uh, paracord is needed, uh, one thing is going to depend on how tightly you tie the bracelet. The tighter you tie it, the you know, the less cord you'll need. Um, a general rule of thumb that I found is that you can take the measurement of your bracelet and so if you've got if you're gonna make an 8 inch bracelet uh, multiply that by 12 inches so that would be 8 feet and then add a foot for extra so for 8 inch bracelet that'd be approximately 9 feet a 9 inch bracelet would be roughly about 10 feet of paracord you may find that the way you tie them, um, you know, you may come out a little bit different. But um, it's always better to have a little left over, of course, than uh, to come up short at the end of, uh, end of your bracelet. And we're going to start with the female end of our buckle. And we're going to take this loop and just feed it down through the the slot. You may have to work a little bit to get that section through there that, that's been melted together. Um, sometimes that can be a little a little difficult to get through the slot. Uh, but once you get it through you just want to make a little loop. and then just reach through, grab the two loose ends, and just pull that through. Then you can just take the loose ends and pull on that, and just kind of cinch that down. So you should end up with something that looks like that. Okay, so the next step would be to take our cord and just stretch it out. To the other end. And we're going to take the male end of our buckle and we're going to feed the cord down through the top. and then just pull it through. Back toward our female end. And so this is where we're going to measure for our wrist size. And the best way to do that is just to wrap a loose end of paracord around your wrist and just kind of Adjust it until you get a comfortable fit. Some people like a looser fit, some people like a tighter fit. Once you get that adjusted, just make a mark where the two ends meet and then lay the cord flat against a ruler or a tape measure and um, take that measurement and that would be the length of the bracelet that you need. So in our case, we're gonna make a eight and a half inch bracelet. And so you want to measure from the end of the female buckle where the opening is to the base of the prongs on the male buckle. So you don't want to actually measure the prongs because those will go inside the female end. 
So I just want to adjust that until we get to our measurement, which in our case is eight and a half. And so now we've got our eight and a half inch measurement. And you want to take the mail in, turn it over, and we're going to pull the loose ends on each side. So you should have something that looks like that. Now to begin our weave, we're going to take the loose ends and we're going to cross under the opposite cord uh, that's going down the center. So we're going to take the green and we're going to cross under the orange center cord and just pull it through. Now we're going to take the loose orange end cross under the green and pull it through. So you should have something that looks like that. Now we're going to take the green cord, go over the orange, and then under the green. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now if you notice, uh, we, we've kind of got a top cord here and a bottom cord. And these are going to switch color on us as we go down through the bracelet. Uh, so we'll always want to pick the top cord. So in this case it's orange. And we're going to do over and under. So over the green and under the orange. Just pull the excess through. Should have something that looks like that. And now we're going to go over the orange and under the green and pull it through. Now the hardest thing about this particular bracelet is just getting these first few ones weaved in there and tightened down. But as we add more and more, it'll be easier to cinch this up and tighten it. So keep repeating the process. Take the top cord. In this case, the colors have switched now. The top cord is, is the green one. So again, we're going to go over the green cord and under the orange one. Pull it through. Then over this one and under the green one. Pull the excess through. And you can just keep working with that. To tighten that up, we'll repeat the process again. Again, take the top cord over the green, under the orange, Then again, over the orange, under the green. You can see here that fishtail pattern beginning to take shape. As we continue down the bracelet, Again, these will be easier to tighten up. Uh, this is actually a bracelet that is great to create on a jig if you have one. Um, it's easier to keep this tight on a jig, uh, but 
you know, a lot of people don't have the jig, um, so I wanted to go ahead and do the video without it. But it is more difficult to get these tight um, without the jig, but you just have to keep working with it. So I'm going to pause the video here um, and continue on down the bracelet again. Uh, you want to just take the top cord, go over, under, then loop it back around over, under, and pull it tight. Keep repeating with the alternating colors as you go down the bracelet. And I'll pause this now and we'll pick back up um, at the end of the bracelet. Okay, so here we are at the end of our bracelet. And as you can see, it's tightened up very nicely. Um, we're at our last weave here. I can't really fit anymore. And so what we wanna do is kind of flip it over and on the female end here, uh, where you've got your loose cords hanging out, you'll notice that there's a little, um, th th this is the part of the loop, the original loop that we made uh, coming over the top here. And we wanna take these cords and actually feed it under this loop, uh, kind of like so, uh, before we cut them. And if, if you just can't do that, I mean, you could snip the cords off here and melt the ends here. Um, as, as long as you get that melt at the end kind of spread out good enough, they shouldn't pull back through. Uh, but I'm going to try to feed these back through that loop. Just get a little bit tighter fit before we snip them off. And to do that, you can take the end of your scissors and just kind of work it into the loop there. And kind of pry that up a little bit. And just work on that and you should get a little space there. Now we can take our cord and kind of shove it through that loop and again we might have to use the end of our scissors to kind of get that to go up through there. And just keep working with it. Um, You may find something a little more suitable than the scissors, but just get something to kind of feed it up through there and pull that tight. And then you want to do the same thing with the orange cord. So now it's time to snip the loose ends off. So you just want to grab your scissors and just snip them off you want to leave just a little bit so you'll have enough material to melt and then spread out. Uh, you don't want to cut them too short. Just something about like that. And then now we're just going to take our lighter and we're going to melt those. And you may want to use your you know, your fingers, uh, just be very careful. Um, let it let it cool just for a couple seconds before you try your fingers. Uh, what I generally like to do is, is melt it and then I just use the metal part of this lighter here and kind of tap it and mash it down. But however you like to do it. So just melt these ends, get them kind of Alright, we're going to try to do one at a time here. I'm going to flip that over and do the orange side now. Just work with that till you get it to the appearance that you would like it. And that's it. Uh, now we've got our fishtail bracelet. And there you go.